This is Brickhead Boy Toy Reviews. Here we have Armor Brick Type 4 tank. This is a fictional tank from Yan Maru. Um, so, back of the box, nothing. Let's open it up. Inside the box, you have your pieces and bags. And very curious to see these blue bricks, track links, if they're any good or not. I ordered some myself, but haven't received it, so this is going to be my first try on those. More pieces. So we have five bags plus your tracks. And I forgot to mention, I love this, this picture, the illustration. looks so awesome, this tank. And your instruction, it's not booklet, it's stapled. So let's build it. And here's the armor brick set complete. There's your box, your tank, your instruction pamphlet. I want to say about the instructions is one step includes a lot of pieces. So um, there's not man many steps, but it goes quick and very enjoyable build. Leftover pieces right here. Uh, one tile, not sure where it goes. I looked all over the instruction and couldn't find it. So my guess is either I missed something or it is extra. Now, this is awesome. We have eight pieces of extra track link each. So 16 total. And I love these track links. Thanks Armor Brick for extras. Very nice. Now just a little off topic. I mentioned that I did order these track links from blue blue bricks uh, i haven't received them yet but i am impressed with these track links honestly the best i've seen so far for a, a two stud track link two stud wide very awesome now let's take a look at this beauty this is one awesome tank it is a little bit small uh only 10 studs wide plus the side skirts which make it a little bit over 12 studs wide but um, basically the same size as the T55 almost, but it is full of detail. It's just all dark bluish gray, but the shaping I love. And based on the source material, Armor Break did a fantastic job, uh, creating this. It looks like the tank I see in pictures. Very, very nice looking. Now onto the detail, I'm believing that's extra frontal armor and secondary weapon here. You have your turret that can spin a 360 and your main gun, which can elevate up and not really down. So you have a little basket here. Let's rotate this some more and the back, the engine. I just, I love, love mentioning this. I, I like the shaping. It is so awesome. But anyways, let's take a look more on here. You have a hatch on this side and a hatch on that side. So let's take a look at the bottom and the tracks. So the tracks roll very well. Love these tracks. Yes, I tested it myself on carpet. It rolls pretty well. Let's get my stash of minifigures. So we have some United Bricks here. I got a Japanese Imperial minifigure. Let's put him in. So there he is. Really not much I can say about this else, except it's pretty much my favorite so far. Well, let's conclude this review. So, about this kit, this was a special custom 
for um, a request. Uh, somebody requested to create this, and Armor Brick did. So I happened to see the pictures, and I had a choice between this one and the Stritzwagen 90. So out of those two, very close call. I like that tank or uh, that IFV, but I chose the Type 40 instead, and eventually, hopefully, that set gets released. The Threats of Again 90, that's how you say it. But I am happy with this purchase. This is an awesome, awesome tank. And like I said, though small, it packs a punch, lots of uh, shapes and details, and it just, this is awesome. That's all I got to say. This Brickhead Boy. Thanks for watching.